Hello, this is an update to the wild aquarium that uh, Bear had done some micro fishing for a couple weeks ago. Um, we started out with three sunfish in the aquarium and uh, Placostomus, fairly large Placostomus, probably about, I don't know, I think four or five mm, inches. Four, yeah, easy. Um, quickly realized that the pumpkin seeds were not getting along. Actually, the smallest pumpkin seed seemed to be the most aggressive, so he was the first to leave. Um, and then the largest pumpkin seed took Just over, and this guy here, and he was aggressive and was keeping the other one kind of pinned in the corner. So that one left. There, Those two are both living in the backyard pond. <clears throat> this guy has got the aquarium to himself now. The Placostomus threw himself out on the floor in the middle of the night through a tiny little opening in the top of the aquarium and sadly died. <laughs> so right now Bear's trying to figure out if he wants to keep a one fish aquarium or if he wants to rehome this guy to the backyard pond as well. You can also see that we had a lot of changes, added a lot of stuff to the aquarium to give it a lot a better feel and make that fish feel a little bit more at home. So we've added a few live plants and um, some rocks over in the corner. And right now we have the bubbler disconnected because we have another surprise to show you guys. And that's downstairs, so yeah. We're gonna try to feed this guy, so. So, what I'm gonna feed him today is some roly polies or whatever <laughs> you call it. Um, so I have two different kinds in here. I've got the ones that roll up and then ones that don't roll up but eat rotting wood and stuff like that. I know that he likes the ones that eat the wood, but I'm not too sure about the rolling ones. So. Gone. He's a very aggressive feeder. It was kind of cool to watch. It's also kind of cool to watch how he eats. He'll pick it up, suck it into his mouth and blow it out, and then pick it up, suck it into his mouth and blow it out. Um, I think that's to kind of kill it and to break it up so it's easier for him to swallow. But it kind of shows you what happens when a fish is messing with your bait on the end of a pole. And you set the hook and nothing's there. And then you reel in your line and there's no bait. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go downstairs, show you guys um, a little special thing that we have set up right now for possible new residents for this tank. This is, um, this is some fish that you can see most of these little fish, well actually all of these fish besides the goldfish which are in the back now, are, um, <clears throat> are minnows. We don't know what kind of minnow they are. Um, that's the biggest one there. But they, some of them are pretty small, smaller than an inch and yeah. So we've got, a, we've got the bubbler in there um, instead of upstairs. It's a little bit cloudy in there. This this was just started yesterday, this um, um, aquarium right here. You can see that there's quite a few little fish in there. They are some kind of a river minnow. And you can see that we have plants in there. It's not in with the fish. It's um, There's another small um, round tank almost that is in 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 the middle of the of this and we used to keep a beta in there um, but yeah so we've got three goldfish in there and then we haven't counted but a lot of little minnows so we're thinking about 
that um, sunfish, if we do move it out of that tank, we're going to put the goldfish in there to help stabilize the tank and everything. And then we're going to add the minnows in there. And yeah. So. So this is the backyard pond that we've been talking about. A little waterfall. Um, the, it's kind of going to be hard to see the goldfish in here, but we also have some sunfish that don't come out very much. They're, it's really hard to see them. Um, you pretty much have to throw some food in there for them to be able to see. Um, but we just got these uh, goldfish today. And so we've got 20, we put 3 in the aquarium and the rest in here, so they seem to be doing good, um, it's definitely, we hope that they're going to eat some of the um, bugs and stuff that fall in, or like even mosquito larvae that, um, that live in the Hi, Willie. An appearance by Willie Nelson. Um, we don't know what we're gonna do with all of these um, wild fish. fish. <laughs> um, I do want to add it. A lot of debris has been kicked up. It's because I just added those rocks before we started the video, and. Um, so yeah, that would be more for if we do move that fish and get the minnows, they will like to hide out in those rocks. Um, <laughs> we just got a yawn from the fish. So, um, I do want to show you the hole that we think the pleco jumped through. Um, it's either one of these two, or these super tiny ones, which we, we doubt that he could fit through there, but I don't know, surprising what fish can do. So I just put these nets there to kind of help with, um, with if the fish jumps. So, we hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And stay tuned for further updates.